All right. Once again, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakwadash, double as be unto the apostles and yet a great millstone. To all the Akyams worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you. This is the word from the GMSU.com. Just bring out a quick edification, three spirits and the power of the Most High, Hawa Shemeshai. My edification today is in title, Structures in the Lord's House. Um, just like any other, um, let's say, company or business or establishment, there's always a structure in it. And when it comes to Great Millstone, the structure starts with well, the Most High, Yahweh Shai. And you have the Apostle coming all the way down to the elders, the camp leaders, so forth and so forth. So the reason for the structure, especially in Great Millstone, is to ensure the proper running of the Lord's house. And within the proper running of the Lord's house, there are positions that are given out to ensure order is being done. And if you have the opportunity to be part of a position, you should hold your position at best and do the job as best as possible. Because in every organization, if you don't do the job that is tasked to you, you are the risk of being demoted or losing your position and being given to someone else. So that's why the importance of when men are given position, which will have been ordained by the Lord Yahabashim Shai, that they ensure that it's done correctly and in order. So you know, I'll just go through some scriptures um, pertaining to structures, how structures was, and the reason why structures pertain to the scripture. We'll start off with First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 it says, This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine. No striker, not greedy or filthy looker, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children a subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the house of power? Not a novice, that's being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the sting of the devil. So you know, they're just telling you basically the characteristics of a man who holds an office ought to be. And likewise, must a deacon be grave, not double tongue, not given to too much wine, not greedy or filthy lucre. Holding a mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. Even so must their wives be grieved, not slanders, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the husband of one wife, ruling his children and their own houses well. For they that have used the office of a deacon will purchase to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the feet which is in Mashiach Yahweh These things I write unto thee 
hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, now thou mayst know how thou ought to behave thyself in the house of power, which is the church of the living power, Yahabah Shemeshai, the pillar and ground of the truth. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Power was manifest in the flesh, justify in the spirit, seen of angels, preach unto the Gentiles, believe on in the will, receive up into glory. And these are some of the characteristics that a, a man of the Musa of Ashimashai should be displayed um, to be part of that structure within the house of the Musa of Ashimashai. And a signing structure and ensuring that there's a, a procedure or an act in which you must act as a man of the Lord is important. Um, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8 it says, Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and give gifts unto the men. Now as he ascended, what is it but that he also ascended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended in the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Mashiach. So positions will be given out, offices will be given, and it's all for the glorifying of the Musa of Hashem to ensure that the house and the church runs properly. Because if there are no positions and there are no structure, then it will be like a market house. Then everyone will do what they please, and it will be disorderly and not order. So verse 13, till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Power unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Mashiach. So some was given a title of apostles, some was given prophets, some was given evangelists, some was given pastors and teachers. And these are all part of structures within the house of the Mosai to ensure it runs smoothly. And that's why it's important that men adhere and understand the structure and why men are tasked to do certain jobs. Titus chapter 1 and verse 9 holding fast the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able by song doctrine both to exhort and convince the gainsayers and as part of setting up the ministry and as part of giving out the offices every man that hold office should hold fast to some doctrine and to the word that was taught so that we can go there and edify two thirds, edify the hope for the lack, and just do the good works of the Mosiah of Hashem and Shai. First Corinthians chapter 12, and verse 1, it says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb islands, idols, even as ye were laid up. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of power call Yahweh a curse, and that no man 
can say that Yahweh Shai is the Lord, but by the Holy Spirit. Now there are diversities of gifts by the same Spirit, and there are differences of administration by the same Lord, and there are diversities of operation, but it is the same power which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another feet by the same Spirit, to another the gift of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, and to another prophecy, to another the sealing of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work it that one and the same self spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. So in this great house and in the administration of the house of the Musa of Hashem and Shai, different men were set up with different gifts and different purpose to ensure that the house runs in order. So, verse 12 was, the body is one and had many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Mashiach. For by one spirit we all baptize into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free, and have been all made to drink in one spirit. So that's why we shall be practicing song doctrine and ensuring that we speak in one as well. For the body is not one member but many, and if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. And if the air shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? I mean, the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now had power, said the members, every one of them in the body, as if it had pleased them. And if there were all one member, where were the body? But now are the many members, yet are one body. And I cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again to the head, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of thee. Nay, much more those members of the body will seem to be more feasible and necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncommonly parts have more abundant commonness. For our commonly parts have no need, but power had tempered the body together, having given more abundant other to that part which lack it. So, despite one might have one gift and the other might have another gift, one might be given one office, one might be given another office, it's all for the glory of the Musa of Hashem and Shai. And that's one of the importance why we should adhere to the structure of the house of the Musa of Hashem and Shai and respect the orders that are given. So that was just my edification on the structure of the house of the Musa of Hashem and Shai. I hope I was able to build you up. You know, with that, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory be unto Musa of Hashem Mishai. You know, double honors be unto the apostles, and he has a great man stone. Told the Akams worldwide, I want to say Shalom be unto you.
This is the word from Engineer Machine and Camp saying Shalom. Stay strong. Shalom, Akim.